Hello, my name is Damien Daughtry and I'm coordinator of Men's Health Unlocked, which is the men's health and wellbeing network for uh, the Leeds and surrounds. Um, and so um, I just want to say uh, I'm very happy to be here. Thanks, thanks to Mick from Army Helping Hands for having me. Um, he invited me along, which is great because I've, um, I'm now I'm, I'm part of this new website of yours, which is great, uh, and I've visited it. And there's loads of brilliant stuff on that, so it's a real privilege to be, to be part of that site. Uh, and hopefully I can be of help to you and just tell you a little bit about Men's Health Unlocked. Um, I spend a lot of my time talking to workers, really. I don't tend to work with men directly, uh, as I assume you are from accessing this video, but you might be a woman who's supporting a man or whatever. Um, so I tend to spend a lot of time in meetings talking to, to um, strategic people and fellow workers and things like that. Uh, which, fair enough to you, on the ground might not mean a lot, a lot of things, really. Um, but we're just trying to make things better for, for men. Uh, and what helps men helps, really. And vice versa, if it's something you already say. Um, so I'm not going to talk much jargon. What will help you? Well, um, I, the first thing I'll probably say to you is we've got a directory of activities for men. That's something that very much might be useful for you. Uh, and I know Mick... Uh, what your website is brilliantly going to be linking up with our director of activities. It's called Let's Unlock. If you follow the links on the website, you'll be able to go there and see what's going on for men um, around Leeds. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about our approach. It's called a gen we take a gendered approach to health inequalities, which is like again, that's a lot of a lot of jargon and, and stuff. Um, and basically it means that um, Leeds is very good at taking a gendered approach. We've got Women's Lives Leeds, which looks at what women ask for and need to support their health, and very much what is particular to women that, that, that they need help with to support their health and well-being. And we're doing the same thing with men um, in the same way. So, for example, things like supporting men to avoid, you know, that, that terrible suicide statistic that we have for men, where men lead to five times more likely to save their own lives. The fact that men are more likely to die from um, most diseases that are common to, to all genders, men are more likely uh, to die from. You know, things like that, things about supporting men to look at their own health and us supporting organisations to do that kind of thing. So for you on the ground, well, um, like I say, we've got the what's on. We've got networking meetings as well, which you're welcome to come to. It's a lot of talk. We try and avoid jargon in those meetings. And we just talk about what's out there for men and what the needs of men are and just try and get some information from the communities and the people who work in the communities so we can work out what we're doing. Um, we've got a web page, which is um, off the top of my head. It's at Forum Central. It's Men's Health Unlocked, but I'm sure Mick will put in a link in this interview for us. Um, and we've got a website and on there, yeah, there's things like information and research about men's health, might be interested in. There's um, there's our database, uh, there's upcoming meetings, things like that. But for you, maybe um, another website that um, is part of Forum Central, which is our work for, um, um, and, and, um, and uh, volition, they run something called Mindwell, which is a mental health website. Really good information on there if you're looking sort of mental health side of things. But to be honest, if you're engaging with me and I'm the helping hands on that website, you're onto a good thing already because they're providing loads of support for people like you. Uh, and they know if they don't know where, if they can't help you, they know someone who does. And really, that's what Men's Health Unlocked is about, it's just for us all linking together, knowing where we can find you. So I've talked mainly about what services and information that we've got to help you, but actually, the other thing that we're about is very much involving the men of Leeds, um, people like yourself, in running the network, feeding in to, to what we're doing. Uh, and we will be setting up um, over the next few months um, ways to involve men in meetings, uh, consultations with men, to, to talk about what really matters to them, what matters to you, um, you know, uh, the issues that you, that you are finding um, and what we can do to make to make to make to improve your lives and the lives of the loved ones around you as well. So watch this space. Um, we do have networking meetings. 
uh, where everyone's welcome to come along. And at the moment, that's probably the best place that you can be if you want to have a say in which way this network's going. You know, for example, at the moment, we're looking at support for redundancy. Um, we're canvassing people about uh, organisation supporting male victims of domestic abuse. We've got Men's Health Week next week. So things like that are very much things where we need input from you to talk about how you feel about those about redundancy, about domestic abuse, what you want to do for Men's Health Week, and you can encourage others to get involved and really be part of this. Um, because we've all got our own experiences to bring, to bring to this, uh, and we will avoid jargon as much as possible. So if you want to get in touch, Nick will put the contact on uh, on the link with this video and it'd be really great to hear from you support so if i can be of any help to you or anyone you're working with or anything like that please do get in touch uh, and i'd love to hear from you oh, um yeah and hopefully well i should probably tell you about our, our future plans but i probably spoke about it but it's good, so we'll talk. if you want to hear my future plans get in touch i'd love to tell you about it brilliant network loads of brilliant people involved come and join us